The biggest return of an ex-Padre on Monday didn't involve Tyson Ross, or even Andrew Kashner. In fact, the most popular guy at the ball yard was someone who never played for the big club, former Friars first overall pick and Mission Bay star, Matt Bush. This is a team that drafted me. Um, this is, you know, where I imagined myself making my career, and uh, it didn't work out, but it's okay. Uh, it's still a great city, you know. It's hard to take a San Diego kid away and not, you know, not miss it, so it, it's very great to be here. Bush returns to his hometown park as a member of the Texas Rangers bullpen. His struggles since being the top pick in 2004 are well documented, from multiple DUIs and issues with alcohol to a stretch of 39 months spent behind bars. The biggest thing that has changed is I'm sitting in this dugout talking to you guys. Um, I wasn't doing this very often in the past, so it's awesome. It may have taken Matt Bush 13 years to finally get to Petco Park, but if he manages to get into the game during this series, he'll be wearing a number very familiar to every Padre fan. It was assigned to me, but it was absolutely amazing that it was assigned to me. Um, Tony Gwynn and Trevor Hoffman are my favorite uh, players of all time. And to be able to wear number 51 and think of Hoffman and be in the spot that I am now, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. It's awesome. While it may not have worked out in San Diego, Bush is happy to have finally made it to the major leagues. But what's the best part about getting to come back home? We stopped a couple of... Uh, Mexican restaurant, had a nice little burrito there, you know, San Diego native, love my taco shops, so. <laughs> From Petco Park, Mike Milburn, KUSI Sports.